In celebration of National Garden Day, I caught up with our favorite gardener, Danny Watson. He has a little inspiration and advice for all of you brown thumbed friends out there like me. Take a look. Yay, you know how happy this makes me. I love seeing you. So glad to be back. I Springtime, know. the weather's great. It's time to get outdoors. Okay, well, I was going to start with my beds, you know, by the mailbox and my potted plants. And I thought, let me talk to Danny first because you're the best when it comes to knowledge about what is trending, what's popular right now, and when we should start. So let's dive right in. All right, first things first. Listen, we had overall a really warm winter. But if you think back to Christmas, we had that one dip, and there's a ton of damage to plants around the city. Even driving into the station today, I noticed there's a lot of people have not trimmed back their shrubs. I actually lost gardenias. I lost jasmine that I've had for 20 years. Oh, no. So if you have any plants that still have all that damage, grab your clippers and start pruning them back. Now, if you're curious how far to prune, yeah. I do a thing that's kind of called the thumbnail test where I scratch the edge of your branch. And if it's green, oh, then it's good. Give it some time. But if it's still brown and if they're splitting like this jasmine did of mine that I brought in, it's gone. Okay. Cut it back. Cut until you hit green. When you hit an inner core that's green, then stop. That's far enough. Okay. So clean that out first before you start planting so you get all of that old dead out of the way. All right. All right. Next, before you, again, one more, before you start to plant, add good soil. Right. That's the insurance that your plants are going to do well. The soil that you had last year, it's spent. The yeah. nutrients is out of it. Grab some composted cow manure, some organic planting soil. Work that in, and that's just going to make your plants thrive. Okay, good. All right. So I've got some varieties of annuals right here. Remember, annuals bloom for a season or two and then they're done. But they give you the most color. Even though you have to replace it, it's worth it. It is. So caladiums, fantastic caladium. variety that will, is good for the shade. Um, when you move down here to the vinca, these are tried and true. This is great to put at your mailbox, something that's just going to thrive. Right. They're drought resistant. They love the heat as we move, in, move into summer. Good. Then I've got wave petunias, which is another fantastic variety that loves the heat, thrives, easy to put at your front door to give you that pop of That's color. That's what I did last year yeah. upon your recommendation. They're great. And then my favorite plant on this whole table is the Rio Diplodenia. Comes in red, comes white and pink. Listen, you can't kill this plant. If you have a brown thumb you sure? and you're like, listen, <laughs> I promise you, and I'll tell you, I picked a very dry one today. Okay. This plant is totally bone dry. It shows zero stress. There's no wilting. So I'm telling you, if you're on the go and you're like, I need a plant that I don't have to babysit, this, this is, is the it? plant. Now, is this for our beds or on the porch? Either. Potted? You can Either. do this in a container. It's super happy in a container, but okay. if you want to plant it out in a, you know, out by your mailbox or out by the front door, it's fine in the ground too. Just keep in mind, it's an annual. So come winter, she's done. She's done. Yeah, okay, she's done. Now. All right, perennials. So we've got lilies yes. right over here. Asian lilies come back every year. That's keep in so mind, pretty. they only bloom for maybe three weeks, so use them sparingly. Calla lilies and then Peonies. These have become so popular. They're my favorite. I love them. Look at that fantastic bloom. I know, but uh, okay, so this is okay to plant here in Atlanta because oh, I've never, yes. I didn't know they that. They do great here. Matter of fact, I have them up in my cabin in North Georgia. They're all coming up. Oh. They're faithful. They come up, they're easy, um, and the blooms are spectacular. The spectacular. Yeah, I know. Plant. My favorite flower. Okay. All right, let's build a container. Let's so let's do say it. you put this pot at your front door. We're going we're gonna to put this plant in the back. This is a sword fern. And what I love about this, this fern, it's so easy to grow. It takes full sun, too, where most of your Boston ferns yeah. would burn. And they're kind of finicky. you got to stay on top of watering. Okay. This plant is super easy. I'm going to break up this root system a little bit. Got it. And we're going to use it in the back. So and yes. then to the sides, Christine, let's add these yellow petunias. Oh, I love Give you a love, pop of color. And you it. might need a little bit of soil. I've got you a bag there if you need to. Okay. Oh, yeah. You might add I just do, a I little do. bit. I need a little okay. bit myself, too. Let's add a little bit of that in. And again, pick good soil. Like I said, that's the insurance that your plants is going to thrive. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. So don't... let's put these on either side, kind of at the it's corner. It's a good reminder for us about yeah. the old soil from last year. All right, hold on. There we go. Yep. And then. Right add a, one of these uh, Creeping Jenny. Creepin Jenny. I love this plant because it comes too. back every year and it gives you that cascade and you know it's all about texture so it kind of changes up the leaf texture. Yep How's right that? in there. Good. Save me a little spot here because right in the front I want to add this Hubra. Oh, okay, it's a great it. pop of color. Now it's pretty bold. Some people may feel like that's a little much but I Not love me. it. Oh, I think the purples wow. and the yellows look really good together. Just so this will beautiful. spread out here in the front and the foliage 
fantastic. Your yellow petunias are going to hang over. Look this at that. This is your backdrop. Put this at your front door. It's going to look good all season long. Fantastic. And Danny, anything else? Any other reminders? You know how much I love hydrangeas. Yeah, so especially in your hydrangeas, I notice a lot of them have died back. Again, cut those if those stems are dead. Now, if you cut too much, remember they bloom on one year or older growth. So, so prune sparingly. If, if the stalk is dead, then of course cut it off. Right. But if it's still green, do that thumbnail test, leave it. That way you'll have blooms come summer. Oh, I love it. Danny, thank you so much. This All is right. so beautiful and we are getting everything ready to spring into spring. Thank you. Mwah. What a treat. I love him. Thank you so much, Danny. Get outside and start planting this weekend, if weather permits. Okay.